Today we're going to learn how to create quick and easy cartoons in Adobe Photoshop. So to do that we're going to be messing around with the Topaz Labs plugin and also a couple of filters as well. So to get started on the tutorial just drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Adobe Photoshop and I'm using this image of one of my favorites of YouTube Mr. Technical Difficult. So press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the image that you just dragged and dropped and now you've got it as layer one on the right hand side go over to filter and then select filter gallery and the first thing that you want to select is poster edges so with these tutorials it's it's kind of a bit of hit and miss you need to adjust the thickness the intensity and the posterization yourself the idea is to try and get as strong an outline as you can but without destroying the face and the other features too much so just have a little bit of a play around with it like I'm going to and then we'll make more adjustments to it in a minute so I'd say I was pretty happy with that so now I'm going to hit OK so now we've got sort of a rough outline that's starting to look it's starting to look alright but we can do a bit more work to it so go to filter and then Topaz Labs and then Topaz Clean 3. Now if you don't have Topaz Clean 3 installed or if you don't know how to install it then just watch this tutorial over here on the right ba -bam, and that will show you how to get Topaz Labs for free and also how to install um, add-ons and plugins into Photoshop as well. So for mine I'm just going to click on the cartoon collection and I'm going to select cartoon detailed And I'm just going to have a mess around with the settings. I think I'll keep the strength at 8. Uh, the threshold, let's have a look. Just increase that a little bit. I'll keep the radius as 6. Change the accent a little bit. And keep the radius and sharpness the same. I have been in here before, so these were roughly the settings that I used last time. So just have a little bit of a... Uh, I play around with it until it starts to look pretty good for you but you're just trying to get as smooth um, skin contours as you possibly can with as strong outlines as you possibly can as well so just mess around with these settings and hopefully it should start to look a little bit better for you and then once you're happy just hit OK. Now the next thing that I think I'm going to do is add a gradient map to add a little bit of light to the whole image and make it look a little bit more cartoony so to do that I'm going to add, add an adjustment layer and I'm going to add a gradient adjustment layer. In the gradient drop down I think I will select the red to green to match his hat that looks pretty good to me and then just hit OK like so. Change the blend mode to color burn and then decrease the opacity right down until you get just a little bit of a glow effect going on just to add over the top so I'd say yep yeah, I was pretty happy with that I'll leave mine at 22 percent now I think I'm going to go back into Topaz Labs and just have another little mess around so I'm going to go back to layer 1 go to filter Topaz Labs and Topaz Clean 3 but this time I'm going to select flat style just to try and smooth it out a little bit so I'll increase the strength on that change the threshold down uh, no up sorry not down just so I can smooth the face out just a little bit more but while still maintaining some of the other details so I'm pretty happy with that now I'm just gonna hit OK and then go back so it starts to look like a really cartoony skin it's, it's obviously it doesn't look real anymore based on what we can see here so the next thing to do I think I'm gonna add something else from the filter gallery so what I'll do is make a duplicate of layer 1 press ctrl and J to make layer 1 copy and then go to filter and this time filter gallery again now you can start to make a, a couple of different adjustments so I'm just going to have a look in the drop down and one that you can add on is stained glass like so so if I added this I just hit OK 
and there's two things that you can do you can either reduce the opacity right down just so it adds a little bit of a extra effect and layer mask out the face for example so I'll just add a quick layer mask select black B for the brush tool increase the brush size with the brackets under the plus and return key and then just mask it out on his face and on the uh, on the jumper as well so just mask that out really quickly and leave that effect around the outside to create like a strange sort of grid or we can just get rid of that control all and Z for the Americans and we could go to filter filter gallery and change it to texturizer which will add like lines across sort of like a I don't know like it's on paper a little bit should we say and then just hit OK and you can apply the same principles here either just reduce the opacity and leave it on the whole image or just to add a little bit on just like so or you could mask it out on the face again or alternatively you could just change the blend mode to color burn and increase the opacity a little bit on that and make like a sort of like a like a gradient but still with the the lines in there so there's loads of different things that you can do to try and mess around with it and create a really good quick and easy cartoon in Photoshop but yeah I hope you like this tutorial guys I hope it's been useful for you please like share do not be a pencil and subscribe to my channel